smallmouth bass are very versatile fish. They can feed in water as deep as 80, 90 feet, or they can feed right on the surface, depending on the time of year, time of day, and the food that they're going after. Early in the summertime, when they come off of spawning and move back into the little deeper water, a lot of times they'll go onto flats that are anywhere from five to 10 feet deep. You know, sometimes the fish will follow and you gotta work that lure when it gets close to the boat. A lot of people will freeze and they'll slow down and go, oh, there's a fish following it. That's the last thing you wanna do. I think one advantage that I've got this morning, it's a little overcast. You know, when we came out this morning, it was cold. I, it was probably less than 50 degrees Fahrenheit, but now it's warmed up a little bit. <laughs> you can see rivers making sure it's okay. What I'm, what I'm surprised is that the fish have been hitting the lure broadside. Normally they grab the back end, but this guy went for the middle part again. So you can see he's got one hook in his mouth and he's got the other one tagged just underneath the gill plate here. There's a nice small mouth. You know, the fish will probably go about, uh, I'm guessing 15 inches. He's uh, just under three pounds, maybe uh, two and a quarter. You are going back. Nice, this is where I get a chance to just look at and admire him a little bit before he's released. And then look, it's just such a nice release. You know, I can't get over how comfortable this vigorous mat material is. You know, you probably notice it throughout the series. Um, it's something that you can just uh, put down and then lift off. I have all the compartments on these G3 underneath, but if I want to get to any of them, I just kind of lift the flaps up. You can see that they're individual mats. They're square. I've got a couple colors here. So these ones are a little bit smaller, the stubs. These are a little bit softer and bigger. I do a lot of kneeling in the boat, you know, when I'm trying to get a, the hooks out of a fish sometimes or if it's in the net, and especially for the release. So this is so comfortable. Combined with these Liguano, these, uh, they're called barefoot technology, the stubs here and the stubs here, it is so comfortable. Gotta have more stubs. I even have them on my seat. You can see the red mats that I have right there. They're made by Vigorous too, and those are called the spike mats, S-P-1-K-E. So the older I'm getting, the more I'm appreciating fishing in comfort. You know, whether it's having a nice platform to cast from, or having something soft to stand on. But I'm telling you this, uh, I don't get a sore back, so you'll very seldom see me do this, like a lot of guys do standing on carpet or like on uh, vinyl or linoleum. Um, the cushion really helps.